Fukushima Prefecture is known not only for its abundance of seasonal fruits, such as peaches, pears, and apples, but the prefecture is also one of Japan's leading rice growing regions. With its vast lands, Fukushima is home to a unique variety of local cuisine that makes the most of the seasonal ingredients and has a culinary charm that can satisfy anyone. The secret of Fukushima's delicious food lies in its rich nature, its varied regional characteristics and the lives of the people who live there. Due to the abundance of pure water, the land produces great rice and sake, as well as vegetables such as tomatoes and cucumbers that are incredibly fresh and delicious. Fukushima beef is also very famous and is a type of Japanese black beef raised and produced in Fukushima Prefecture. Characterized by its vivid colors and moderate marbling, Fukushima beef is carefully grown by local livestock farmers and is rich and mild in flavor. On the 11th of March 2011, Japan was struck by a massive earthquake of a magnitude 9 on the Richter scale. However, the Japanese government and Fukushima Prefecture have worked tirelessly to clean up the area by rebuilding damaged buildings, reopening towns, expressways and clinics, and rebuilding major rail lines. The people of Fukushima have remained resolute throughout the post-disaster recovery and continue to work diligently towards reconstruction and revitalization. Their efforts in reconstruction and revitalization serve as a good example of the approach of rebuilding the area into something that is better than before the disaster. In the field of agriculture, Japan has been working on many measures for revitalization and the improvement of safety. In particular, to deal with the problem of contamination of farmland by radioactive materials, Fukushima has implemented measures based on scientific evidence, as well as according to the condition of the farmlands and the crops grown. For farmland with a particularly high concentration of radioactive materials, topsoil was scraped off and replaced with uncontaminated soil from deeper in the ground to reduce the impact of radioactive materials. For fruit trees, high pressure washers were used to clean and scrape off the bark that had radioactive materials on it. Fukushima farmers have regained their safe and delicious production of agricultural products by combining field improvements with cultivation techniques, such as spraying the required amount of potassium fertilizer, which is effective in inhibiting the absorption of radioactive cesium before cultivating crops. Since March 2011, the Japanese government has been monitoring the safety of food through various standards in order to prevent food contaminated with radioactive materials from reaching the market. This is the Fukushima Agricultural Technology Center, where the scientists behind the stringent testing of Fukushima food products are based. The facility conducts pre-shipment monitoring inspections of all agricultural, forestry and fishery products produced, shipped and marketed in Fukushima Prefecture. In the fiscal year 2022, approximately 11,000 samples of 480 products were inspected. Over the past 12 years until 2022, approximately 270,000 samples have been inspected to confirm the safety of agricultural, forestry, and fishery products to be marketed. The former Director General of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the FAO, Dr. Jose Graziano de Silva, attended a tasting event hosted by the Japanese government in 2017. At the event, he enjoyed sweets made with fruits from Fukushima Prefecture and stated, At the moment, there is no reason to raise concern over food safety. Inspections are continuous, a monitoring system is in place, and international protocols are being followed. In fact, According to the survey on the intake of radioactive materials in food published by the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, the estimated annual effective dose derived from cesium in food is far below the dose limit of 1 MSV throughout Japan, including Fukushima, and the effect is negligible even when compared to natural radiation. The safety standards used for testing are only one-tenth of the standards set by the International Food Standard Codex and amongst some of the strictest in the world. 
Since the fiscal year 2015, no rice, vegetables, fruit, or livestock product that has been properly cultivated and managed has exceeded the standard values. Efforts by Fukushima Prefecture to acquire GAP are also expanding. Part of these efforts is the acquisition of Global GAP. GAP stands for Good Agricultural Practice, and Global GAP is an international certification of production process management to ensure sustainability in terms of food safety, environmental conservation, and labor safety in agriculture. After the Great East Japan earthquake in 2011, 55 countries and regions around the world restricted food imports from Fukushima Prefecture. As of December 2023, only seven countries and regions still have such import restrictions. In other words, about 87% of the countries and regions that imposed import restrictions after the disaster have now lifted their restrictions. Immediately after the disaster, Fukushima's export volume decreased by about 90%, but in 2017, food exports recovered to pre-disaster levels as remarkable growth was achieved. More than 10 years after the disaster, Fukushima fruit products that have passed stringent safety standards are now recognized as safe both domestically and internationally. This is a testament to the warm support from around the world and the trust that has been built up as a result of the continued efforts of the people of Fukushima. They will continue to work tirelessly and the day will soon come when the splendor of Fukushima will attract more and more attention from around the world. 一つ、一つ実現する福島。